Just a point to pick up on, Ronan, which you could give us an insight into. He is talking there about the decision-making process when it comes to kicking for the posts or maybe kicking into the corner. He's obviously not a disinterested party in that decision-making process. He's the one who has to take the kick. Uh, were there times in your career, because you always seem to love the pressure, but were there times where, say, for instance, Paul O'Connell made you kick against your will? <laughs> kick against my will. Um... <laughs> It's a, it's a fascinating subject because um, you know it started probably in 2000 in Northampton, zero out of five. In the final? Yeah, so zero, imagine. Your points accumulator, the man who's meant to get the points doesn't produce. So that was a, a, a day where you either can sweep it under the carpet because real pressure hits you maybe twice a season. It mightn't hit you at all but it'll get you if you're technique. So that was a great opportunity to grow and get better and face the demons going forward. But it took me a long time, Joe. Long, 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 long time. There was many a game where uh, four points down in a game, you're there in your head going, oh, geez, sorry, six points down. Please don't score. Please don't score. That means I have to take this conversion. I wasn't able for it. Genuinely, at the start, it was... I put everything into kick and I had, I had a warped mind, as <laughs> Shaggy would know, <laughs> because I just felt that, that if, if you're the kicker, that's your responsibility. You've got to do it, you know. But with time, and as time went along, you're just hoping you're two points down in the last 10 minutes of a game. Mm. You grew to love it. Yeah, of course, and that's what experience is. And would O'Connell turn to you and ask you, how are you feeling? It's great. That's, I just, for me, that's why Johnny has so much on his plate as a captain. He has everything, and he's the chief. The 10 is always the kind of the boss on the pitch, even though because of his competitive nature, he likes the title of, camp, of captain, and no one can begrudge mm. him that. Okay, but where it becomes sticky is, as you said there, so he refers to his leaders on the pitch about how are you going into scrum in the line out and should we kick to the corner? But who there is going to tell Johnny knock it over the bar? Mm. Because I can tell you in my day, <laughs> I wasn't asked. When I was with Paulie at times, um, because he, you know, I think it's great when you have a front five as a captain, so Golov. Every time I used to kick at Tom and Park, he used to stand exactly in the same spot every time. And his language and energy behind me would decide whether I get it nearly because he'd just fill you with confidence. Right. Why the kid? <laughs> 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 and literally, you're 10 foot tall. And then with Paulie, it got to a stage, obviously, he has such presence and is a massive figure in the team. And he was bigger presence than I have, which was necessary because when you're the kicker, and you're human, and you're kind of, you've missed your last one, and it's five metres from the touchline, and you're kind of, no, Paul, we have a great line-out drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what would he do? He'd say points, kicking. He, um, it, he actually was so cute, he'd actually, and he got on so well with referees, he'd just take me out of it. Right. And he goes, uh, three points, and I said, oh, you're having a shot, are you? <laughs> and, then... and, that, and that is unbelievable captaincy, right? Yeah. And to have, to have that person that has more belief in you almost than you have in yourself yeah. and will get you, you know, get you over the line. It necessary. absolutely convinces you. Yeah. You know, because, like, it's amazing as you go along. So you're like, you, you play for Ireland for the first time, you're just scrambling and hoping you get the five caps. Mm. You know, and yeah. then after a while, it's, you're in the groove and you're kind of looking after your stats and the kickers are kind of looking... You know what I mean? Different kickers will, will attempt long reach. Other people will just mind their stats. But, like, it's such an important um, uh, point in test rugby, game management and managing the scoreboard. And unless you have someone to go, you're kicking. Mm. You're, like, tough, you're kicking... Mm. But that, that would be, and, and you'd like the way Johnny is in the fact that they seem to have addressed it, but like that's where your Tyg Farlong or James Ryan just kind of going, well, the scrum is actually only all right and the line it is all right. Well, Johnny, we need you. Yeah. You're right at Rovers for us. We need you. Knock it over. And they have to say that to him. They have to. And, and that, but well, because do you think of, they would, Ron? No, I don't. A, well, yeah, I don't know. Because because you're not sure. But that's yeah. not a weakness of Johnny because his no. presence is so big and yeah. he's such a competitor, but like... Who's going to boss him Unless around. he has completely uh, no emotions in his body and he mm. thinks that every kick he's going to kick, but there's days like... But the, the, it's, there's a different thing between, uh, between uh, Paulie going to you, kick that ball, because I know you're going to do it. Paulie's not then saying, 
you need to kick it because the scrum is in You'll trouble. You'll have to ask Paulie. Paulie probably, probably had a few don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, but he was certainly related to you that you were. But, but I think that that's the great thing about a captain. Yeah. He actually, because you've spent time, he gets a gauge of a person. He knows your range because before the game you've walked the pitch. Mm -hmm. And obviously today with the wind, uh, it's absolutely going to be crucial about where your range is. But like as you say, Shaggy, uh, subconsciously he's filling you with confidence he doesn't even look at you he just goes but point. there's a difference between that and then Tig or someone in, in the team at the moment going to um, Johnny saying oh actually I think our scrum was in trouble or our line out isn't good enough saying that is a completely different mindset uh, uh, than saying we've got full confidence you now kick it don't he's you know Paulie's not talking about what's going wrong mm. he's only talking about what's going right and that's sort of you don't want to base on a negative you don't want to say actually you have to will you kind of kick this because this isn't going well and yes it feeds into Johnny's point a little bit about the expectation of certain players in the team but like no matter how experienced you are and how good you are as a player everyone loves a little pat in the back and geez you're going great yeah. but like because it's become your norm if that's taken away from you, it was the absolute beauty of Gollivan and Claw. They make you feel ten foot tall in terms of like just the words they use and just kind of patting you and getting you feeling good about yourself. But like, if you're a hundred test um, Irish player, you need that too. You still, you still need it, yeah. Oh, now, would you ever try and sneak in and boot one down over the touchline? Um, I, I, I did pull that off once or twice. But <laughs> and how did that go down with Paul O'Connell? The death stare was interesting. <laughs> but um, he couldn't believe it. It was, <laughs> And I can picture it. So he just kind of... <laughs> like, did that actually happen on my watch? Yes. So then there became different rules, and that's probably the game of cat and mouse. But... Uh, Great guy, great memories. Jeez, I must say, I had no idea. I thought you were the guy who said, I want to kick it, I want to kick it, I want to kick Joe, it. Joe, you have no idea. That's why perception just isn't reality sometimes. Mm. Like, I think, for me, it's the fascinating thing. You're playing an individual sport within a team sport and you get to love it. But at the same time, you know, you're kind of squeaky bum time. Sure, yeah. Interesting. Rory Best not there last week. Johnny took the kicks and didn't kick for touch. Different captain, different different view on the game. Yeah, but it was probably three he didn't. I, I thought he took, I thought the ones he took, he should have took. I thought they were all kickable and I thought last year at times Rory Best would, as captain, they went for touch when they should have taken three. Yeah. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how it pans out but they're great story, great stories. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Okay, so the